Sad news from Hollywood this morning. Ivan Reitman, the influential filmmaker and producer behind beloved comedies from Animal House to Ghostbusters, has passed away. Tributes are pouring in for the legendary filmmaker. He died peacefully at his home in California, according to his family, a cause of death unknown. His loss is already making an impact as he was set to produce and direct the sequel to Twins, titled Triplets, this week, this winter. He leaves behind his wife, three children, and many, many fans. Let's bring in film critic Richard Krauss. Richard, a sad day. You know, uh, Ivan Reitman had a, a obviously a great Canadian, a huge legacy in, in Ghostbusters, but also for our generation, Richard, Animal House. That was such a pivotal film, right? Um, talk to me a little bit more it, it, about Mr. Reitman. It, it's... Uh... Well, it certainly was Animal. You mentioned Animal House. He uh, produced that film after years of trying to get it made. It took 15 years to get that movie made. And uh, this was a movie that changed uh, big screen comedies, mm. uh, along with a handful of other movies that kind of took things that we had seen before, the 1960s teen comedies, and really turned them on their head, made them a bit edgier, uh, and introduced, uh, well, John Belushi was a, a big star on television, but it made him a superstar in the movies. Uh, so Animal House is a very important film uh, in the context of, of recent uh, comedies on film. This is a, a movie that people still laugh at today. Of course, Ghostbusters is the film he will probably always be best remembered for, uh, but he was a trailblazer from the time that he went to McMaster University in Ontario. One of his student films, uh, normally that would only be screened in an auditorium somewhere for other students. He managed to sell that to the CBC and to 20th Century Fox, mm. make his money back, and then continue making other films. Uh, his sheer tenacity and uh, always looking at the next thing, always trying to move forward, makes him a very special uh, filmmaker, and uh, and it is a sad day. It is. Um, I, I want to start by asking you as well about tributes that are pouring mm -hmm. in for him. Has Bill Murray commented because, you know, obviously their collaboration was very, and friendship was very close? I haven't seen a, a message from Bill Murray yet. Mm. Uh, I'm sure there will be one. I do love the story about when they first met. So uh, there was a National Lampoon touring show. This is before Saturday Night Live. This is before uh, Bill Murray was a movie star. Uh, but he was a, a, a big star sort of in the improv and underground comedy scene. Ivan Reitman was involved in this, and he comes to see one of the rehearsals. And uh, midway through, Ivan Reitman says, uh, excuse me, listen, I have an idea. What if we try, and before he even got the entire sentence out, Bill Murray leapt off the stage, wrapped a scarf around uh, Ivan Reitman's neck, and led him out of the room. <laughs> so it was not an auspicious beginning to their <laughs> friendship, uh, mm. but certainly if you look at the movies that they made together, mm. again, most notably uh, Ghostbusters, uh, Ivan Reitman had a hand in turning Bill Murray into the superstar that he still is today. Yeah, that's a great story. I'd never heard that one before. I love it. <laughs> I, I got about 30 <laughs> seconds to talk about the legacy he leaves behind, and the obvious one, Richard, is his children who are also very involved in film. Absolutely. There's uh, Jason Reitman, uh, who directed the last Ghostbusters movie, Afterlife, but also Juno and Up in Smoke and lots of other things. Uh, Catherine uh, Reitman, who uh, makes uh, Working Moms here in Canada and works as an actor in the United States as well. Uh, there's Caroline Reitman. Uh, he leaves behind a family. He leaves behind two sisters as well. Uh, but I think the, the, the legacy will be a legacy of tenacity, always putting himself out there. I love this quote from the Toronto Star in 1981, where he said, I knew my films were good because the audiences told me. He mm. knew what people wanted to see. He made movies that people wanted to see. And I think truly, ultimately, a legacy of laughter and entertaining people will be what he leaves behind. Film critic Richard Krauss, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Jen.